Hi, welcome back to Hope Scope. If this is your first time here, hello. I'm your legging queen, Hope. This is my co-host, Leo. Very clean, a little bit wet still. So I was taking a shower and it's one of those showers that's just like open. Here, I'll show you. So <clears throat> our bedroom just walks right into the bathroom. And then the bathroom just walks right into the shower here. And Leo literally just walked into the shower and stood under the water. Hey, you enjoying your shower? <laughs> he doesn't like baths, but today apparently he decided he does. Today I am testing out for you Target's new activewear line called All In Motion. Previously they've had C9, which was all right. Joy Lab, which was pretty cute, but not like the most functional stuff. But now they have All In Motion, which may or may not be the perfect combination of cute, affordable and functional. You'll just have to keep watching to find out. A couple cool things about this brand is it's in the sizes extra small to 2XL, so a decent size range. And a lot of this stuff is actually made from recycled polyester. And all of it is under $40. I'll be sure to mention what sizes I got and everything and I'll have my measurements down below if you want to use them for reference. Also, you may have noticed this is once again, not my normal setup for YouTube. We came down here to St. George like right before the whole stay in place order thing happened. And we've just been kind of like extending our stay in this Airbnb. <laughs> Cause it's just been a great place to quarantine and it's warm and there's no earthquakes. Coronacation 2020, woo. Do you want to go back home one day? Yeah, we'll think about it. I'm running out of leggings though. I gotta go home eventually. Okay, this is the first little outfit that I got. These floral contour leggings, strappy sports bra, and this jacket that I'm wearing right now. Okay, the floral contour leggings. These are bomb and they're only $28. I got a size small in these and I feel like they fit very, very true to size. I did notice that the waistband on these was just slightly too big. So if you're between sizes, I would actually probably go with the smaller one. These are mainly made for Pilates, yoga, dance. They're just ever so slightly brushed so they're really smooth. They're high-waisted and they do have a seam at the top which I actually didn't mind because this fabric felt like it was trying to slide down so that added structure in the waistband definitely helped. There is a front and a back seam but I didn't notice any camel toe at all. I don't think you'd have to worry about sweat showing in these at all. I feel pretty secure in these squat proof lies. And they scored a 98% in my squat test test. I still wouldn't wear colored underwear because it might show through like on the white flowers. These were definitely one of my favorite things from this whole haul, amazing value. And to go with it, I got this little low impact strappy sports bra and this was okay. It was only $16. I got this one in a size small. It comes in this cream color and also a black that's that same like, I don't know, marbly print. The print is absolutely beautiful. The straps are really cute but there's just something off about the fit. I think it runs slightly small, but just overall it was not the most comfortable sports bra I've ever put on. There is removable padding in it. And then something that always drives me crazy in these lighter colored sports bras that are cheap, you can always see right through to the pads. I mean, it's like one of those things where you probably won't notice if you're not looking, but... And then this jacket, I freaking love. It's called the Anorak jacket. It was only $40, but it legit reminds me of something you would find at like Lululemon for $200. I got a size small. It comes in this gray color, black, olive, and pink. It's just meant for like casual wear, but I think it would be perfect for to and from the gym. We're not going to the gym right now, so like, taking your dog for a walk. It's actually water repellent too. But I just love the fit of this. How it has the little cinched waist and then there's the little ventilation flap on the back. It has a hood. I actually took this whole little outfit on a hike the other day. I loved how the leggings performed. They were super breathable, moved with your body really easily. Like I said, the sports bra was just okay. It like did its job, but I wasn't blown away. And then the jacket was great. It was like 75 degrees, so a little bit warm for it, but it was nice to have around anyway. Oh, and then we took a little break to make a little TikTok dance on the top of the cliff. <laughs> this took so many takes. A plus on this entire first outfit. Okay, the next little outfit that I got are these ombre jacquard leggings. This little tank top. Okay, these leggings I was super excited about because I thought they'd be a really awesome dupe for the buff bunny jacquard leggings. Those ones were like $65. These ones are 40. I got them in a size small, but I just loved the ombre. So these are the black ones, but they also come in a navy ombre. I got them in a small. These ones also do run true to size. If you're between sizes, go with the smaller one. Overall, I've been pretty happy with the size consistency with this All In Motion brand. These are a really good everyday legging is what they call them, which I get. 
I think if it was colder out, I would recommend like going for a run in these, but they're a pretty thick material. They have two really good sized pockets on the side. They're high waisted and these also do have like an elastic at the top, which is very flat lying and I didn't really notice it. Once again, they do have a front and a back seam, but I didn't have any issues with that. And also very squat proof. No. So if I what are you doing? <laughs> You wouldn't want it. Okay, so you don't want the <laughs> If you want the oh, Okay, okay. I think I know what this question is about. Yes, someone did take it. Are you serious right now? Okay, I have to explain what just happened there. So, I'm filming this try-on footage in front of a wide open window and Tyler walks out of the bedroom butt naked in front of the wide open window and also we're quarantining with one of my friends. She was in the house somewhere. I didn't know where she was. He was naked. And then I realized there's this trend going around on TikTok where you do that as like a prank and you film it to film their reaction, so. What are you doing? You, that's what happened. <laughs> okay, and then this little ribbed tank top. This was only $20, and I thought it would be a really good dupe for like the Lululemon Ebb to Street tank, is I think what it's called. And it's kind of this similar ribbed with the built in shelf bra situation. Uh, this is a small and it seemed to run a little bit big like I could almost do an extra small in this one like I said it has this built-in shelf bra on the inside as well as removable cup pads which I'm gonna be honest I didn't even notice those until this moment like that's literally the thinnest cup pad I've ever experienced but overall for 20 bucks I thoroughly enjoyed this I probably would have enjoyed it more in a smaller size but okay next I wanted to get like a little more of a loungy piece because we're all doing a lot of lounging right now these are called the practice pants they were $30. I'm kind of bummed. All they had left was a medium, so I got the medium. They're obviously like pretty big on me. The small would have been ideal. I'm still gonna wear them though because they're so stinking comfortable. They have a high waist and they're almost like a those like 90s baggy balloon pants. Like the MC Hammer parachute pants. I don't remember what they're called, but that's what these remind me of. <laughs> okay, this is the last little outfit that I got. These floral printed leggings and then a medium support sports bra. I still haven't made up my mind about if I like this print or not. It's a white legging with these like stamped blue leafy. I don't know. I So these are more of like a high intensity type fabric. They're kind of more of that slick sweat wicking feel. High waisted, the seam elastic situation at the top here is very thick. They do have an adjustable drawstring though. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know how this works. You just like, I don't even do anything. I don't know. They have the pockets on the side and they're also a cropped length, which isn't my favorite. So I, just, I feel like if these were a different length, different fabric, I'd probably really be into them. I got a small in these. These definitely seem a lot more compressing. So I maybe could have done a medium in these. You know, not the most squat proof <sighs> they scored an 82 percent which sounds good but if you look at the scale here it's really not <laughs> it's a you can definitely see your undies type of legging okay this medium support sports bra not bad it was 24 dollars. i think it was a little too big i think that's part of the problem i got a medium should have done a small i really like this turquoise color and then it also comes in black and violet and i really like medium and high support sports bras like this that have the sewn in cup pads I just felt like the cups themselves were a little bit big. Like this medium would probably be better for a D cup, but the straps themselves are adjustable. So that's not the problem. They have the clasp on the back that you can actually change. And then these top straps slide to adjust. And the whole back is nice and meshy and breathable, which is nice. This would definitely be ideal for like a spin class or a dance class. Just kind of that medium impact stuff. Wow. <sighs> I just put on this outfit and did a 30 minute hit workout with Gabby's Shay, Cheyenne, Shay, Chai. I don't know, but it was hard. Oh, Gabby, I can't do it. Oh man, these leggings were actually pretty good. I didn't feel like I had to adjust them too much. Sports bra was kind of sad, really. Just. 
<laughs> it was just, just way too big, you can tell. I just had a thought. I think it's time that I publicly announce the giveaway page. <laughs> it's Hope School Official on Instagram, and I just give away my old activewear over there. I just thought of it, because I'll probably wash, of course, and then give this away, because it doesn't really fit me. So if you want, you can go follow that page and enter to get some stuff. You just have to pay shipping, it's like five bucks. Okay, the last thing that I got. I got some socks. Okay, these honestly, Look like a total dupe for the Lululemon socks that I reviewed last week, but they're $18 for one pair. But these no-show socks are $12 for four pairs. They have that same kind of like tab situation here. So it protects your heel from getting ripped up. And then they even have the same like for the arch support. Tyler's gonna go on a run and then come back and review his outfit. <laughs> Casey it. How'd I go? It's good. It's hot. Right here? Yeah. Alright, now what do I do? Alright, let's start with the leggings. I'm gonna do what Leo does in the background. <laughs> Gosh, I can't take you serious. Okay, let's start with the leggings. Dang, these make my legs look tiny. <laughs> Fitted tights in the size medium. I do like a couple things about them. So on the back here, they have this, I don't know if you can see, but they have this mesh panel. Breathability, okay? Um, when I bought them, I thought that they came with a pocket. Okay, highlight. There's a pocket. <laughs> Will the phone fit in it? Um, almost. It's supposed to be for like your keys, I think. Um, they're only $22. How do they compare to your like $100 leggings? Pretty good, actually. I was impressed. They have a little bit more uh, compression than the other ones, so I feel like my range of motion is slightly restricted. The nice thing about that is like they're staying in place better. They do have like a little elastic waistband right here. Okay, the gym tee is good. Very, very breathable. Can medium? you guys see that? This is a medium also. It's only 18 bucks. Yeah, 18 bucks. It's kind of got the little scoop thing going on here. Yesterday I was wearing uh, I was wearing another shirt. I was getting a little hot. I actually took it off because it's too warm. This one though I feel like does a you good job of cooling. Shirtless? I did. You would have loved it. <sighs> anyway I feel like it did a good job of like cooling um, and not being too heavy. The line to run short. Okay I don't know about these okay because here's the deal. Because here's the deal I didn't know that they were lined. Oh yeah that is kind of weird yeah, to wear like, like a I'm like line wearing, short I'm over a legging. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try them out again without the leggings on. But yeah, they're they're a little tight. Um, they were out of the medium, so I got a small. I'm seriously impressed with how good a quality it is for how low the price was. Like, I'll for sure buy some more stuff. There you have it, the official Target All In Motion review. Hope you thought it was helpful. If you did, make sure to like it, and don't forget to subscribe before you go. And Leo and I, and probably Tyler, because he's kind of in all my videos these days. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next video. Say bye, YouTube. I'm